Hello everyone, so picking off where we last were, we had a lot of stuff happening in the last video. We were able to get to the Calico Desert, and we were also able to finish the fish tank bundle, which unlocks something that we will see later in this video. And the fortune is we'll have a little extra luck today, and living off the land. Winter's coming soon, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. I basically read that last video, so I'm not going to read it again. And so we have mail, we have sweet gem berries ready, we have some corn ready, and a few grapes, and I'll get right to the mail. Figured I'd give you this recipe I had laying around. Try not to burn it. George, we learned how to cook fried eel. I see you've entered the Skull Cavern. Well done. I've got a better challenge for you, kid. Make it at least, at least 25 levels deep. I've got a mountain of gold to send if you can do it. Your friend, Mr. Key. Well, I guess that's the first step to our quiz. Quiz. <laughs> first step to what we need to do. And I will start on more gold bars since those take the longest. I still need to collect more iron ore so that I can make more quality sprinklers. Or iridium sprinklers, but I need iridium ore. Wait, I don't need iron ore for iridium sprinklers. Anyway, so if you've been challenged to reach level 25 in the Skull Cavern, you've been promised a substantial reward if you're successful. And it'll be a while before we do that because I am hoping to get a prismatic shard and for those who know what that means, well, yay for you. And if you don't, well, you'll find out. So collect those before I get distracted. And I'll collect the sweet gem berries. I'm going to be keeping the regular quality ones. Apparently that one isn't ready yet. Hmm. I must have missed watering it at some point. So I'm going to sort through this right now. And we only have one sweet gem berry that is regular quality. I'm going to sell three of these and because I'm going to need this one for something. And I'm going to run these ones into the seed maker. And I'm going to... It's by far the sweetest thing you've ever smelled. So anyways, I'm going to sell those. And I'm going to take these other ones to the greenhouse right now so I don't accidentally do something stupid with them. Except for the regular quality one, which I'm going to hang on to for reasons, which you'll find out. Uh, actually, I can run them through the seed maker right now. Or at least start one, anyway, because I have the space to start planting them as well. Nice. So with just those three, we were able to get seven sweet gem berries. So I'm actually going to plant them uh, just in this area here. Doesn't really matter where. Ideally, I would also be planting fertilizer, but I don't really care to do that right now. And I'm not worried about uh, watering them right now either. I'm going to check to see if this is ready. And it is, so I'll check the other one as well. Because it should also be ready. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, water everything. Hello, Callie. And going to take care of the animals afterwards. Hi, Callie. Bye, Callie. Okay, so the animals are taken care of. I have watered everything except for the cat's water dish. Bridget now appreciates. <laughs> Uh, I am going to start another couple of gold bars. Uh, I don't want to sell that. Whoops. And then I'm going to head into town. After I put the milk and the egg into the fridge here. And I guess collect this stuff as well. So I'm going to head into town as I said. Because I'm going to take the item thingy to uh, Gunther. Uh, so that's in the town area. And then I'm going to head to the mine area. And I like how there's a black bear there, but I don't think I can get to that. But first we're going to go here to get this geode processed, even though... Eh, well, we've already had that, so that's not a big deal, but... Donate to museum. So we have that, and we'll put that up there. We'll check the bulletin board here, and also the calendar, if we can. Uh, failing blooming, eggplant season might cheer me up. Well, if we can find Sebastian and we happen to have an eggplant ready, 
Slobbering, did you hear? It seems the old town bus started working again overnight. That old thing has been dormant for decades. This is truly a great mystery. Can you move now? Can I? Can I? No. Okay. <sighs> Okay, so we're gonna head up to the mountain area, and you'll see why in a moment. And this is why, because we have a cutscene. Hi, Celebrian. It's odd. I'm not sure what caused this boulder to disappear. Uh, what caused this boulder to disappear? This stream is flowing from deep within the mountain. Hey, do you see that glistening in the water? Yes, that's quality ore. The flow of water must be carrying it out of the mountain. <sighs> you know what this means, right? Nope. It means we can start uh, panning for ore. Here, I've got an extra pan in my back uh, backpack. Why don't you take it? If you ever see ore glistening in the water, use that pan and see what you can find. You received a copper pan. And if we're lucky, there will be something over there for us to actually demonstrate this. And there is indeed, right down over here. And so you can see the action there. Basically kind of click on it and we got four copper ore. Now it's... Uh, oops, I didn't mean to pick that up. It's not really worth going around carrying the pan because you can get some of this ore quite easily in other manners or other ways. And as far as I know, you can't really get our iridium ore. And that's really the ore that you would want. But anyway, so that's that ore over here. And so the boulder used to be there. And so, uh, Willie gave us this pan. That's all I wanted to show for this area, and so now the next thing will be going into the secret woods. Why, you ask? Well, you will find out momentarily. What's up, Silverin? Nothing much. Oh, guess that's all he has to say. Hi, Granny. Today I'm baking cookies. They're shaped like little pumpkins. Maybe I'll tell you my recipe one of these days. Yeah, I gotta be friends with you first, don't I? Uh, have flour. Oh my, it looks wonderful. This is very kind of you. And no cutscenes yet for th that. Okay, heading to the secret woods. I had a detour. Uh, oops. <laughs> you saw nothing. Okay, and now we're finally into the secret woods, and I'm gonna collect uh, this stuff while I'm in here. But the main purpose of why we're in here, you will see in a second once I head over to where those slimes are. Okay, so we're over here, and if we remember, what Master Cannoli, still searching for the sweetest taste. Well, what do we have in here? Inventory, sweet gem berry. It's by far the sweetest thing you've ever smelled, so I wonder what would happen if we went. Ooh. And then you interact with it, and... You found a star drop. Your mind is filled with thoughts of penguins. Your maximum energy level has increased. Yay! So now our energy is 372. Oh, another slime over here. I didn't almost, almost didn't see it. And a chanterelle. Chanterelle. That's what it's called. <laughs> I will not remember that later on. There's actually quite a few forageables in here today. But anyway, that's what you do with one of the sweet gem berries. And that's why I kept the regular quality one. I was actually hoping for a few more regular quality ones. So I didn't have to sell... Or I didn't have to use the higher quality ones for the seed maker. But I want to do that so that I don't have to buy... Any more seeds from the cart, although I can more than afford that now. 
So I'm going to keep these mushrooms because they are regular quality and I'm going to keep them mostly for cooking. And since I have lots of time and a massive amount of energy, I'm also going to cut a whole bunch of trees down. Okay, it's starting to get on the light side. I'm just going to clear this little tiny bit here. And I'm going to deposit said stuff uh, in its corresponding spot. Okay, so I just need to put these in the fridge. I'm going to keep the pan in there because I don't actually need to use it at any point. And heading to sleep. So, as you can see, we made a massive amount of money. So the breakdown of the regular crops and the eggs and milk and cranberry jelly and the foraging. Yes, I'm delaying. Ha 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 ha. So here we go. Sweet gem berries. So if you remember, they cost a thousand apiece and you see three quality sweet gem, uh, three silver quality sweet gem berries is a total of 11,250 gold which is, I don't want to do the math, but the math is already on the wiki anyway, if you're curious, but that's a lot of money in compared to a thousand gold, which is what they cost. And then there's three sweet gem berries at gold quality worth 13,500. So that is why we made almost 28,000 with just that. So as I said, they are definitely worth getting if you can in the uh, cart. It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the Spirits Eve. The event will take place in Pelican Town starting between 10 p.m. and 11.50 p.m. Don't be late. Oh, I guess I should look for my luck in other... yeah. Blah, blah, blah. The Spirits are very happy today. They will be do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. And we have more mail. Dear Slytherin, notice a chill in the air? It could just be the approach of winter, or it could be the tingle of a dark specter. Here to help us celebrate tomorrow's festival, the Spirits Eve. Come to town at 10 p.m. if you'd like to participate, Mayor Lewis. And I'll sell that one. And I'll start more gold bars. Almost running out of gold. So we have a bunch of corn that is ready. And this is the last time they will produce, so I'm not worried about watering them. We have our eggplant, so we just need to find Sebastian today. And we have the sweet jam berry ready there. Another eggplant here. I don't think any of this stuff is going to be able to produce anything. Uh, I will water these ones since they didn't uh, give me anything today. So hopefully they give me something in the next two days. But I don't need to bother with the corn because they won't uh, produce anything. At least not in time. <laughs> I will water the grapes though because there should be one more harvest of those. And if I'm mistaken, well, I just wasted a little bit of energy. Not a big deal at all. So, we don't have any regular quality eggplant, but that's okay. And I'm actually going to sell the sweet gem berry because I don't need to keep them because I have some growing in the uh, greenhouse. I was like, what's the word? <laughs> Alrighty, now I'm going to take care of the animals. So, we have the coffee plants growing there. We have strawberries growing here. We have beets growing there. We have the sweet jam berries there. I have a pumpkin that is still not ready. And we have starfruit here. And I think this is also starfruit. And I can't remember what these are. Something else that was... Oh, rhubarb, maybe. So, today on the agenda, what am I going to do? Well, I could start upgrading a tool because I have more than enough money for that. I don't have enough uh, iron ore actually, so I can't do that. So I'm probably going to go to the mines to get a whole bunch of iron ore. 
Uh, so I can start upgrading the tools because I think everything is currently copper or better. So I could actually get my steel axe going. I'm going to save those gold bars for now. So I'm going to head into town and hopefully find uh, Sebastian after I visit Clint so that I can get the geode processed. Process geode. And we got stone. Ooh, so exciting. I could also start upgrading the barn. So I think I actually might go do that. And it's also Friday, so I'm going to head back to the bus stop to go check the cart to see if there's anything interesting there. So I'm going to go to the cart first and I'll head to the mountain areas because Sebastian might be actually at their place and if he's in his room well then I won't be able to find him or get to him anyway otherwise hopefully I will find him at the bar later because it is Friday and him and Sam are usually there I do have to check earlier though because they leave earlier that is uh, garlic uh, nautilus shells so I could actually get that to finish one of the bundles Fall seeds, wool, a truffle, quality sprinkler, pomegranate. There is a lot of stuff here that I could use to finish some bundles here. Uh, so if we just take a quick look. So the craft room, I need the winter foraging, which obviously that's not an option there. But on the bulletin board, we need truffle, which would finish this one. We need red cabbage, which is not there. But we also need this, which would be finishing that one. We need the pomegranate for this bundle and also a rabbit's foot. And we need those apples which are coming along, but I might actually buy these things because then I can finish those. Uh, truffle. I think the wool we needed for something else. I'm not going to buy that quality sprinkler pomegranate. So we will head back into town first and... Well, we'll head to the uh, Robin's farm first. And of course, I put the panning thing and we have a panning spot right there. <laughs> oh well. And I will also water the cat's dish. Of course, I could have saved myself the money, not got the pomegranate, but that would require me waiting for... The tree is to grow and it's going to take them another 24 days or something like that. Because it takes them 28 days and then another 3 days to get 3 of them. So that's how long it'll take for me to get the apples anyway. Okay, so if Sebastian is here, that'll be nice. I might also get my barn upgrade going. Uh, upgrade barn should be big barn uh, okay so we need more wood and stone and there's also a slime hutch that we could get I'm also gonna be working on this as well the stable and shed I won't worry about till much 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 later this I also have to need to work on soon but I need sheep and whatnot for that but anyway, uh, Sebastian, are you here? You are. We are not friends with you. Okay, I'll have to find him at the bar later. Hopefully he is there. <laughs> okay, so since I'm up here, I may as well actually check my uh, crab pot that's over here. Now that I finally remember what it's called. And look at that, we have a snail. I can't remember if that was one that we needed or not. And if it was, super duper. Okay, bulletin board. This one needs the truffle. What do we get? We get three pink cakes. Super. This one needs the... nope, not that. This. And what do we get? We get a recycling machine. Awesome. And that is for the apples. And this one we need the pomegranate. Now we just need the rabbit's foot. So we finished two more bundles there. That leaves us with very, very, very little to do. 
So I'm just going to move these things down over here for now. And actually I'll move that there. Uh, so I guess I will go mining now. Oh, I found the ladder for this floor right away, which is nice. We have a whole bunch of uh, moats in this one. Ooh! We got a prismatic shard! I know what I'm doing! I don't think I can do it right now, though. Uh, I'm gonna leave the mine, head to the bus stop right away. Because it doesn't matter if I don't make down five floors. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. I thought as much. Uh, person return when a bus driver is present. Uh, yeah. So we need Pam to be there to actually go to the desert, but, uh, so I guess I'll show that in the next video. Uh, but this is really nice. So we also need one to give to Gunther, but, uh, he's going to have to wait for his <laughs> because this way I can actually work on the skull cavern. If, uh, and you'll see why. Okay, so it's getting towards the 8 o'clock time. I'm gonna go one more floor. Ignore that bat. And get the iron ore that's on this floor. And then I'm gonna head to the bar area. Because Sebastian should be there. So I'll be able to give him the eggplant. And if he's not there, well then I guess I can just sell that. So far I have enough for seven bars. If my math is correct, and I should hope it is, because that should be easy math, because you need five for each uh, bar. And I obviously went one more floor, and I might as well get this iron ore as well. Okay, and we'll leave the rest for that. So, heading into town. And I will go the long way, because if I happen to run into Sebastian on the way, then that works as well. Because this is his house. And this should still be, nope, it's 8 p.m., okay. But it is Friday, so he should be in the bar area. If not, I will not hunt him down. I have other things I can do. So hopefully he's at the bar. Uh, well, there's Maru and Robin, so. There's Abigail. Is your brother still in here? Oh, there he is. Okay, so I need that. Oh, we also got a frozen tear. I didn't even notice that. I was too excited about the... Oh, oh shoot. Well, Sebastian, you're not getting your eggplant. That's unfortunate. <laughs> uh... Okay, I'm heading to the farm now and I will set this up, which I means I can start putting some of the garbage stuff in the, well, in this recycling machine, turns fishing trash into other stuff. And I'll put that right there. That should be fine. Actually, I'm going to move it from there now that I think of it, because that gave me the same problem that I had the last time. And I'm actually going to start those into the uh, furnaces, so I can actually start making some of the iron bars that I need. And watcha. Okay, so this is going to go... Well, I guess it'll go right there, because I think I can still... Yeah, I can still get to that, so... Okay, so organizing this stuff, getting those going. I'm plopping the rest of that stuff in there. I'm going to hang on to the prismatic shard. I do have a little bit of time, so I guess I'll cut down a couple of trees or so, because as I said, I need more wood for the barn. I thought I had enough, but apparently I was wrong. Okay, I don't want to push it too much. And we have 399 wood right now and we need 400 I think it is. We also don't have enough stone yet either so I'll have to work on that later as well. Sap does not go in here. Sap goes over here. And these mushrooms will be sold because these ones are not for cooking. <laughs> okay heading to bed.
Oh, kitty cat. Bye, kitty cat. So we made about 7,800 gold today. Most of that actually came in our regular farming. And foraging, I guess. Also, obviously, the sweet gem berry at 3,750. So there you go. That is how much a silver quality is sold for. But I think I have bonuses that makes that mm, sell for more. I could be mistaken. But either way, the information is on the wiki. And as you can see, we have another diamond. As you might recall, I put a diamond in here. Well, this is what happens when you put a diamond in here. Another diamond is produced. And guess what? I won't collect it right now, but it will be available to collect again later on. I think it takes five days or something like that. Uh, the more valuable the gem in there, the longer it takes, if I'm not mistaken. Could be mistaken. Anyways. Oh, it's gonna rain. We finally have another rainy day in the fall. Uh, the spirits are neutral today, but it doesn't matter because it's a festival day. And we do have eggplants, and unfortunately, we don't have the delivery anymore. And we have grapes, so I was smart and actually watered those. Uh, cranberries, if they're not ready tomorrow, obviously I've wasted a little bit of energy, but that's okay. The corn is also ready over here. Uh... So most of this stuff I don't actually have to water. I do have to remember to collect the fairy rose. And as you can see, we have some decaying fence. And so I need to replace that. Uh, so obviously I need more wood. And unfortunately, that's going to be a recurring thing. We don't have anything interesting in here. We do have fruit, but it's the same old, same old. So exciting. So with that said, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.